Hey, what's up? How you doing, everyone? It's James Amera here at SwitchWatch, your home for everything Nintendo Switch related. I'm back today with another review, and this one is Swim Out by Lozenge Lab. The guys over there gave us this copy for review purposes, so thank you very much to them. As always, you want to find out, is this one worth your hard-earned cash? Let's jump in. Swim Out is a turn-based puzzle game that originally came out on mobiles and Steam last year. It's laid back and simple at its core. On loading up the game, you head straight into the action. There is no story here and no text or assistance, enabling anyone that speaks any language to pick this one up and play. Swim Out is a laser focused stylish game and the audio reflects this. The sound effects are very well done, each stroke in the pool sounds right as does the background noise which captures the sound of a bustling pool perfectly. There are splashes for divers and a lot of little noises for each unique action. Completing a stage plays a short ringing sound which works well. There is no music in the game or talking and I can understand why. The fact that there is no text lets this game be completely international. But as you play, it would have been nice to have some background music to mix things up. Swimout's visuals are elegant, reminding me of the early 1900s. Each swimmer wears stylish swim caps and swimsuits, and the pools have a French Riviera feel with light blue shades and minimalistic backgrounds. The interactive elements are easy to spot, which on some of the latter complex pools makes it easier on the eyes than it could have been otherwise. As a game originally made for mobiles, there are no performance issues as the game doesn't pack a punch visually. Your objective is to literally swim out of the pool by making it to the ladder. The game is set across seven regions, each with 15 pools to escape from for a total of over 100 levels. Each pool is grid based and you move up, down, left or right, one tile at a time. The quirky catch is that other swimmers in the pool are going about their swim with blinkers on and if you bump into them it's game over. At first you don't need to think too hard. You are dodging one or two swimmers with simple patterns that can be avoided easily. As you get further things start to get more complex. More swimmers with overlapping paths are added that make you take more time and make more mistakes. Swimart does a good job of adding difficulty at a steady rate. At first different swimmer types are added like divers that hang around the edge for a number of turns before diving in. Additional accessories are also added from the comical floats that you can throw at other swimmers to stop them for a few turns, allowing you to swim past to floats and even crabs. Each pool has a number of medals awarded for achieving a low number of strokes to get out, which will keep collectors interested. The game plays well on the move with simple touch controls that are responsive. For me, this was actually the better way to play. As you will fail quite a lot and some of the pools take 80 or so strokes to complete, it could be quite annoying not to have an undo button. I found Swim Out to be fun, certainly for the first few regions it kept me entertained. After that, it's one of those games that you can pick up for 5 minutes, much like a mobile experience. At $5.99 in the US and £5.99 in the UK, this game is priced fairly. It's a simple puzzle game that doesn't distract from the main objective, of which there are over a hundred levels. Swim Out is a simple yet engaging puzzle game that's a welcome break from slashing monsters or timing runs perfectly. It isn't advanced or complex, but it is quite challenging and kept me entertained. Overall then, a very respectable 7 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Check out our written review over at switchwatch.co.uk. A massive shout out to all of our subscribers. We really appreciate you guys sticking with us. And if it's your first time here, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to stay up to date with everything Nintendo Switch related, you might want to consider subscribing. I hope to see you again. Take care.